Everybody, it's your super YouTubing robot, Robo Bunny, and we're gonna play a little story called The Shadows That Run Alongside Our Car. It was made by a person named Lox Rin Rain. Lox Rain. Apologies. It's about. I believe it's about a story of two drivers trying to drive, drive and survive against the zombie apocalypse. I don't- I haven't heard much of this, so let's get started. Whose eyes will you see the road through? Hmm. Hmm. I'll go with him. Gun it. Gun it. I put the pedal to the floor. The wheels squeak. Screech as we pull in, out into the lane. The car swerves, but it doesn't really matter. There's no one else out here as far as the eye can see. The abandoned station shrinks behind us until it is gone. And then it's just us and the long road. Hmm. Hmm. World outside the windows, windows passes by in by us. It's in abstract, like the whole world given up on having any meaning. Ooh. we drive in silence. Up, oh, up. Oh. After a while, I hear the faint buzzing of the power window being rolled down. Lady, do you want zombies to jump at the window? That's that's how you get chomped on. Keep that window close. Sure that's a good idea. See, this guy agrees with me. He agrees with me. Sounds like zombies are just going to hurl themselves at a moving car. You underestimate the power of a zombie. Are they the left for dead type or the or the or the dead rising type? Fair enough. Well, that was a thrilling conversation. <laughs> uh, so true, so true. So, guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three day whole days, but... What's her name anyway? Really? Three whole days? You did not ask for her name. Okay. Right, we never did introduce ourselves. It's... Oh, I can name them. Okay, I'll name her... Yeah, Shelby works. Shelby. My name is Shelby. Well, nice to officially meet you then, Shelby. Names... Uh, I'll stick with their names. Dustin. His name is Dustin. Dustin. Okay. Aw, oh, look at that smile. That's a smile then. That's trying to ignore the horrors that goes on in this world. Ah. The car shudders briefly as we rumble over a series of, puff of a series of potholes. But then the road smooths again. The humming of the engine reminds me of a storm. Bear brewing far off on the horizon. Beyond this occasional noise, we sit in silence. So what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm, let me guess. Dustin is a male... is a male, uh, stripper. <laughs> and Shelby... looks like she works at retail. <laughs> hmm? Oh. Well, wow, that's the first time she's actually started a conversation. Because I'm not so intimidating after all. What was I doing? God, what was I? A whole lot of nothing. I bet that sounds super impressive, huh? Not really. We're a whole lot of nothing all the time. There goes a point when we become a whole lot of nothing. Just a scruffy drifter. Not so sure she wants to hear that. I... Bend the truth. I was moving cross-country. And everything went south. 
What about you? This ride is yours, right? Hmm? Yeah, well, it's really my dad's car. Or was. Even when he was alive, though, I bet the only one who ever drove it. Ah, guess he didn't. Sorry, never mind. It's okay, the booze lift killed him eventually, anyway. Ouch! Damn, that's kind of messed up. Uh, pretty quiet in here, huh? Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Do you think there's a ra any radio stations left? I'm, I'd be pretty shocked if, if so. Reckon it couldn't hurt to look, though. Okay, let's have a look. She's fiddling with the tile. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna find anything. Sag comes in, out in waves. Even, even so often, the distortions give the illusion of an actual sound, but then goes right back to nothingness. Just then, though... Hang on a second. Go back! Go back! I think I actually heard something. Noise phases in and out, then as something comes into auditory focus... <laughs> Is that Marachi? Hey! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a smile that says she's so done with living. <laughs> I can't contain myself. It sounds so uh, it's unmistakable. Horns blare joyously over the stack in a sick fanfare, while a man's voice wails soulfully over it. I'm laughing so hard I nearly pissed myself. Shelby's nearly there too. That was not what I was expecting. Who the hell is out there running this? Of all the music that would be left. Man. I sink back into the driver's seat and lay my mind drift to the music. The dissonance is always comforting. As the fractured fractured chords wash over me, I try to pretend I'm lounging in a truck bed somewhere. Out in the sun, mid-afternoon, Shirt damp and dirty from a hard day's work. For a moment, I almost believe it. The music falls short for a few seconds before starting up again. Wait, is that the same song again? Ugh, it's probably on an endless loop, because why wouldn't it be? Sure, it seems that way. Guess it just ghosts on the waves, after all. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. I don't know, I've seen a couple of undead folks DJing up somewhere. What do you think a zombie even listen to? Is death metal too obvious for an answer? <laughs> no, they listen to country rock. Rob, zombie, or maybe they're all into baby metal these days. I don't know, I think I think the Grateful Dead seems more apt. <laughs> you know, I always wondered this, but what are they grateful for exactly? Maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? I wish they let the rest of us have some. It's so bad right now, anyway. <laughs> yeah, if it's an apocalypse, I will want to listen to music somehow. Oh, well, except for that. I shake my hand at the radio controls. So what are you into, anyway? Music-wise, I really like... I'll make this... Mortis, top 40 hits, that that sort of thing. You? And don't tell me it's baby metal. <laughs> if it's baby metal, I will throw you out this car. <laughs> will you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? No, that might be for the best. What do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or, or Marley or something, but I have no idea what those songs are. I'll have to look that up. Well, you're probably actually judge me more for this. <laughs> Try me. 
It's country music. <laughs> she gets... You kick... She kicks him out of the car. Abba. <laughs> it's a nice sound. She starts laughing at my expense. It's a nice sound, though. I'm not gonna be polite and say that it sounds like music or anything like that. Still, it's good to hear. Told you. No, no. It's fine. Your music catchy. I mean, my parents listen to Abba. But it's fine. Your parents? Yeesh. How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for... For Alan's sake. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there's no right answer to that question. Except for that one. I'm 22. Hmm. Shit. God, that's so young. He's practically a kid. I don't know, 22 is... It's a pretty good age. I'm 24. What was I doing when I was 22? Still wasting my life, I reckon. Wonder if she's even been to school. That young and the whole damn world crashing down around her. I tried to not to make a face, but I can see my knuckles going white as my finger grips harder into the wheel. The music kind of gains kind of similar to Abba, isn't it? All peppy and stuff. Should be happy to have it. That's sure. That's sure an optimistic take on it. Alright, enough of you. I reach down and turn the volume knob to a sharp left, and the radio blissfully goes silent. Farewell, wailing man. Now it's just us again. Uh... Do you ever expect things to end up this way? It's getting dark, huh? The sun sets so late in, in the summer. Sore topic, huh? Guess she doesn't want to think about it. Can't say I blame her. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Specifically without the street lights and all. It's like this guy just been saving it up. It's a bit like a dying fire. Kind of fitting for the end of the world. Yeesh. That is depressing. So you never really told me what it is that you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but, um, well, hmm. What do you like to do? Or what do you... What did you before everything? Actually, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I'll wake up, shower, go to work. Yeesh. That's a little depressing. Have a lunch break, back to work. Get off work, eat dinner, and watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And it goes on and goes on, I bet. And then the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. Yeah, you definitely need some variety before all this. I'm pretty sure the zombie apocalypse isn't variety, though. That was about it. Guess that must be most people's stories. So true. It's kind of my story a bit. I wake up, go to work, get get off work, and go to sleep for a bit. Then make YouTube videos. That's kind of the reason why I wanted to make YouTube videos. I was stuck in a bit of a loop back then. I wanted some variety. I've done a couple things in the past. Drawing, a bit of writing here and there, and now YouTube videos. That's why I'm doing this. Stuff out there. But stuff probably tougher now. <laughs> all kind of point all kinds of pointless in the end, isn't it? Work your damn tail off and everything goes to pot anyway. And you just wonder why you didn't spend spend your time better, you know? Yeah. I guess that doesn't matter either way. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to Abba. Ah. I used to travel a lot. Looking for work and stuff. It's supposed to be you could call me a bit of a nomad. Are you the nomad from Avatar? Because that would be really useful. Oh, that sure is lofty. That sounds really cliche. I really... 
sword suits you. To tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Got to the point I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. Uh, that does not sound good. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? Wish never do come true the way you expect them to do. Huh. <laughs> yeah, monkey's paw. Yep. I don't think she knows I notice, but she's been pressing her gut a lot. I wonder if she's still alright. Since I first ran into her, she's been in a rough way, and I'm not sure it's gotten much better. We probably should have looked for some more bags of that ginger, ginger stuff. Comment on her hand. You okay there? I point towards her. No, wife! Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's gotten a little better, but I'm just exhausted. Which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I do, but. Christ, I'm not really equipped for this. I know first aid. I could stitch up a cut, but gastric distress is a bit beyond me. Do you think we should stop and rest? Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just waste the gas. Alright, oh, the fuel. Oh boy. As if everything wasn't so weird these days, anyway, I call it suspicious that there was only a single tank worth left. Not much we could do about that, though. On where it is, then. Oh no, she's infected, isn't she? Do you ever wonder, like, why us? How did we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we that we're still alive? <laughs> Didn't I used to? Honestly, I try not to think so hard about it. Stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I it's a dangerous train of thought. I'll tell you that. We're here. That's what matters. Despite it all, we're here. We're safe. But now why of it just garnish on the salad? You know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean that we were really facing the apocalypse of or whatever. So the first couple months I just kept working. Kept on like everything was fine. And then listen. You don't gotta answer me if you don't want. But your old man, what happened? My dad. <sighs> so he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. Oh no. But they wouldn't even let him in our near our nearby liquor store anymore, so he wandered off again to another. Just so happened that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed since he wasn't truly any different from usual. That's very pathetic, but Huh? But so was my dad. In the end, I won't be doing much better. Right now I feel like I want to puke. Hey. Please don't say things like that, Shelby. One of us has to keep this up. I slide my right hand off the wheel. Her hand is resting by her leg, near the center of the console, so I reach over. Her hand jerks when I touch it, but she doesn't pull away. Wow. The skin feels really cold. Is that normal? Maybe because the window's open. Maybe it's because she's sick. I really wish I knew a bit more medical shit right now. Right about now. Actually, if she had fever, shouldn't she be hotter? Chill like that can't be normal. It's not even that cold in here. But we're still here. Just remember that. Until that changes, that there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume what they would do. But while we're still breathing, there's more. There's hope. Ah, 
That's pretty cheesy, isn't it, huh? Anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you do get on with him. I bet it must be hard, losing someone that close to you. Yeah, I guess. It all happened so fast. I'm still trying to come to terms with it. I won't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. Yes, I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long while. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if they're stuck out here like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. I... As she starts talking, the engine gives an unsettling sort of rumble and my heart jumps. It spurs a few times and the whole chassis lurches. With a, pitiful, with a pitiful clattering, the engine stalls out and the car can't do anything but coast. Crap. I know it's a few light click on some minutes ago, but I guess I still wanted to think we had more time. The car rolled down the pavement until it can't anymore. And we ambled to a stop. I really thought the gas would last a little longer than that. Bound to happen sooner or later, wasn't it? God, if I wasn't hoping for a later. We brought this we bought this car used after all. Cost efficiency, but not as so much fuel efficiency. I wonder how far the next gas station is. It'd be nice if there were some signs around here or something. I can't believe we're, we've gone this long without seeing any. I haven't seen anything for miles. Even without people, without lights, I can't see how this could be. Like civilization just packed up and left the moment everything started to crumble, leaving not a trace behind. Even if there were, it's not like we could see them. It got so dark and without the street lights, yeah. They're just basically walking in darkness. I I kind of remember doing that in my old school. When I was when I was younger, I used to walk to my bus. It was across the street, well, down the street. But but when I but when I realized the bus ain't coming, I had to walk. It was winter, so it was very dark out. So. I had to walk back through the dark. It was scary, like really scary. I I couldn't see anything in front of me for a few inches. It was kind of intimidating. I was expecting something to jump out and get me. <laughs> uh, look at me getting sympathetic with these guys. Hey, how fast do you seek to run? I don't want to run anymore. About average, I guess? Do you reckon we should? Her hand touches down to her stomach again. She felt so damn cold. I don't know. I don't know if that does point. Not much to point to anything. Not anymore. Maybe not. It's too damn dark anyhow. In all likelihood, one of us would trip and fall. It'd be pretty sad to make it this far just to die from a bust up face. <laughs> oh, that's the face of someone who's dead inside of it. Please just smile. Yeah, I would. Anyway, there's nothing we can do until the sun rises. Stare out the window. The sky's clouded, but if I squint, I can see faint lights in the velvet. The breeze, though, the open window is quiet and clean. Guess we're crashing here tonight, then, huh? There are more ways than one. Could be worse, anyway. At least the air smells nice. Yeah. I sink back into my seat. I search around for the lever on the side so I can adjust the angle, but even when I yank it on the damn thing, it won't budge. Used car. Right. Ah, uh, stupid used car. Yeah. I tried to hand. I try and get comfy the best I can. I only hope that she can too. It's gonna be a long night. Oh, well, good night then. It's so dark now. It's not much different when I shut my eyes. I breathe in and out and wait for sleep. Have we seen the morning?
Wait, that was it? That was it? Oh. Oh, man. That was a good story. That was a good story. Hmm. I got 25 minutes left, but... I'll make another video doing the girl's pr perspective later. For now, this was a good game. Well, not really a game, it's more like a story. A story of some people during the apocalypse. I'm not sure if I would even survive the apocalypse. It's kind of a scary thought if that actually happens, but it wouldn't happen. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the Robo Bunny Corporation. Good night everybody, and sweet dreams.